so we can get started. Um, I want to, we have several new people, um, but the newest is down, well, <laughs> bottom of my, middle of my screen is Steve Murray. Please wave, Steve. He is our newest member. Um, and I know we have name tags, but it might be useful to go around and just say our names so that the new people can see who we are. All right, so I'm Karen Marshall. I'm the chair. I'm Lionel Gulliven. I'm Lornoy. I'm Rina Sorovsky. Ned Lane. Janet Egelhofer. Lynn? Me? Lynn, did you, did you say your name? I did, I did, but I'll say it again, Lynn Edelstein. <laughs> <laughs> so let's, let's talk about how to do this, because as you can see, we, one of the lovely drawbacks of Zoom is you cannot do crosstalk. And we're, I, so I think what we, I'd like to say, what I want to suggest is that we go through each one of these um, one by one, and I have them in the order in which they appeared in the panel book. So hopefully you've all done the same order. Otherwise you'll be scrambling to look at it. But I thought we'd start just going through them um, and literally just go in the same order. Um, I will not speak first, but I mean, I can say this is the one we're gonna look at. And then um, why don't we just, I wonder, is, is everybody's screen the same? Is Lionel top left for you guys? No. No. Yeah. No. No. All right. I think it depends. I think it might depend on what view you're in. Ah. Okay. So I'm I'm in gallery view, but right. it also may depend when you came in. Yeah. Right. You can depend on when you came in. Um, just so everyone knows, um, I'm the secretary, and so I have a lovely spreadsheet assembled here. So I'll be um, first. I'll be noting sort of major comments, um, and not you know I I won't go into great detail, um, but I'll be listing all of that so that those of us who are writing the letters will have that information to refer to. And then I'll be putting in the amounts that we've actually granted and I can you know, sum it up and see if we're near our total. That's <laughs> if anybody doesn't have the um, file handy, uh, I can share my screen and, and I've got an on my screen. So if anybody needs it, you know, I, we can do that, Karen. That's, that's great. I have, I have mine up on my um, iPad. Okay. Yeah, I've got it up too. All right, great. Um, so played. here's what I suggest that we uh, do this, that I, I will say, you know, we're looking at, you know, X, Y, Z. And then I actually just wrote down what order we should speak in. And I will speak last. And then, um, so what I'd like you to do is say yes, like, like if it's a yes, yes, to total funding uh, or no, no reason. I don't, I don't want to do this at all. Or maybe, or um, uh, yes, but not the full amount. So unless it's an absolute yes for the full amount or an absolute no, then we'll go back and have a discussion about it. But okay. I thought we'd start out by going around. So here's the order um, that I'm going to ask you to, to speak in. Lionel, yes. Andrea, Ed. Lynn, Mary, Janet, Steve, Rena, and then I'll go last. Um, and I'll remind you guys. So we're going to start with climate action. Me, but Ed, if you could put it up on your screen, that would be helpful. I have notes, but it would be easier to see the whole thing if that's possible. Is that all right? Karen, 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 if you can make me a co-host, I can share my screen. You don't have to be a co-host. She can just have me. Oh, share the screen. Let's see if I can do it. Just in case people don't know, I think if you share a screen, we will not see one another. That's we, yeah, we won't Never see mind. the whole group. Never mind. No, yeah. I, have so, I mean, it's just a choice. I'm not saying it's good or bad, but just. Yeah. No, I, I would correct. prefer to yeah. try to do not, not do that first. Yeah, okay? that's fine. That's Ed? fine. No. Okay. No. So Ed just did it anyway, and now we can't see <laughs> yeah. Never mind. each other. Does yeah. that help or is that? No. No, no. it doesn't. Okay. No. So stop. Let me get. Thank you. Excellent. Very good. All right. So climate action, it's from Green Agers. It's for five hundred dollars. Um, and Lionel has disappeared. Oh, there you go. No, he's just changed. Oh right. no, no, just uh, are you taking it backward or from I mean from the list? Uh, 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 this is the order. No, we're going in order. We're going in order. 
Yeah, okay. I, Leonel, mine came out in the same reverse order yours did. So you and I are going in reverse order. <laughs> okay, very well. That happened uh, last year too. Uh, climate action. Yeah, the green ages. So, uh, so, so did you say we say no, yes at this point? Uh, uh, yes, no, or maybe. Uh, yeah, it's, it's, uh, it's no. Okay. Yes. Yes. Okay. Ed? Yes. Lynn? Yes. Mary? Yes. Janet? Yes. Steve? Okay. He's Steve, muted. You're Steve is muted. Yeah. So unmute yourself. I saw, but I saw the mouth. That's fine. Uh, Rena? Yes. Okay. And I also voted yes. So, Leonel, are you okay if we don't have a conversation about it or? Uh, no, I'd like to know because that, I mean, that's at the roots of what I understand of, of the Cultural Council. Uh, we're talking about uh, an organization that claims in the text that there's some art process, but I, I went to their site and didn't see anything. The uh, Cultural so Council funds science, not just art and, um, and, and conservation. And that's what um, Green Agers uh, is a, it does. So it's the science part. You can't forget the science part of, of, what, um, of what the Cultural Council funds. Hmm. Uh, to me, that's not evident uh, that, but it's, I love the Green Agers. We use them at Laurel Hill, um, but I'm, I'm just, you know, I'm, this is, I think that, <laughs> In this particular way, uh, they're asking for. Uh, so, are we talking about the thirty thousand uh, dollars proposition altogether? And so, it, I mean, it's it's out of our league. I, I don't see how we help so much with five hundred dollars there, while others may. So that's all. I mean, obviously, I'll curb down to the uh, unanimity. Yeah. Okay. All right. All right, any other comments on that one? Yes. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. I'd like to ask a question. Um, <clears throat> when we go around with the yeses and noes and maybes, um, how do we indicate that we're in favor of it, but we might not like to offer the full amount that they're asking? Is that included in that first round? Yes. Okay. Now, shouldn't we shouldn't we wait because we usually don't wait, we're not gonna have enough money anyway. Shouldn't we wait and see how much? We have and do the money part second as a separate yeah. thing. Well, that's, okay. that's that's what I think. Yeah. I think that yeah. Yeah, let's do that then. Okay, so we can talk about the yes. I will. I yeah. have some too. I, I I it's a yes, but I want to give less. So yeah. Right. Right. All right. Thank you. So, uh, Laurel Hill Day. Leonel. Um, oh, actually, yeah, of course. Well, Leonel, I, Leonel I, and I, I cannot talk about Laurel Hill Day. Okay. No. You're not, you're not able. Yes. To so, oh, we're not uh, even. I'm so sorry. Somehow, mine. I thought I printed them in the same order, but I didn't. So, all right. All right. So, but but um, I, um, my husband was the president of Laurel Hill up until December 31st. So I think now nah, I'm not going to talk about it. And Leonel is on the board of Laurel Hill. So uh, you can't vote on this one, Leonel. I won't. Correct. Make but I can. Too. I can mention. I can mention something. We decided last time that. Uh, uh, the, I, get, I recuse myself in terms of the vote, but I can say that I, you know, uh, this proposition here, which uh, which took me by surprise, to tell you the truth, is uh, is very well uh, funded in its concept and and is wishful to be funded uh, by some money. I mean, it's it's a great thing in Stockbridge, so that's very much Stockbridge and the culture of Stockbridge. Why, why don't we take the vote? Yeah, yeah. Okay. I'm a yes. I'm a yes. Are we going out of order? Yeah, we are going out of order. So Andrea, could you uh, go next, please? I, I did go first. I said yes. Okay, go ahead. No. Okay, Lynn? Yes. Mary? Maybe. Okay. Janet? Yes. Okay. Steve? No. Okay. Rena? Yes. Okay. So. We need to talk about this one so we mm -hmm. can come back to it or we can do that now. Let's do it now. Yeah. All right. I, I actually think we should go through so we know how much money we've, we've, we're thinking of giving out. I think uh, if, yeah, if we've done all the yeses, 
if the if the volume of yeses adds up to the money, that sort of right. does it, doesn't it? Good point. Yeah. All right, let's, all right we'll, I'll make a note that we'll come back to this one, okay? All right, so the next one that I have is Second Nature Arts. It's an art project at um, Berkshire Hills. <clears throat> and so, Leonel. <laughs> Uh, oh, Berkshire Hill. Um, Second Nature Arts. I've got to have light bright art as my yeah. name. Yeah. 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 Oh, I'm sorry. What's the name of it? Light, light bright art is the project. Uh, I'm sorry, I don't find it. Who is the applicant? Second Nature Arts. Second Nature Arts. That's what I had down here. Mm -hmm. But it's called Light Bright Art. It's a the project. project. Um, oh, there it is. Susan Lynn Smith. Yes. Yeah, that's right. Oh, yeah. It, it's not in order. All right. So yeah. um, I'm sorry. I'm just trying to get it here. Take the pressure off and, and go to Andrea next. <laughs> yeah, please do. I'm a yes. Ed? This is light bright. Uh, yeah. Looks, yeah. Okay, that's a maybe for me. Okay. Lynn? Maybe. Mary? Maybe. Janet? Maybe. Steve? Maybe. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and I was um, yes, but not for the full amount. And I'm, I'm, all, I'm all a little bit on the maybe side. So we'll come back to that one. How does that sound? Yeah, it's maybe for me as well. Oh, okay. Sorry, Lino. Okay. Um, the next one is something called Indigenous Peoples Day Walk. And I have mm -hmm. some more information because I found parts of their, um, uh, I, I, some things weren't clear to me. So I called them and I talked to okay. everybody. Um, so let me just, uh, while you're looking for it, um, it, it took some clarity. <laughs> it's, it's taking place um, on Columbus Day weekend. Mm -hmm. And the, they're, it took a little while to figure this out, but the, the money is to bring someone, one of the Stockbridge Indians from Wisconsin uh, to here. Mm -hmm. um, I had lots of questions about it, um, but let's go around first. And then if people, if people have questions, Leonel? Yes, I have questions as well. It's a, it's a maybe. Okay, Andrea? Yes. Okay, Ed? Maybe. Lynn? No. Mary? Questions, maybe. Janet? Yes. Steve? Maybe. Rena? Yes. And I'm also a maybe, so we're going to have to come back to that one too. Okay. Meeting house programs, that's from the New Marlboro Village Association for 250. Um, yeah, again, it's, uh, I'd say no because, yeah, no. Okay. Great. Um, Andrea? No. Ed? No. Lynn? No. Uh, Mary? No. Janet? Uh, um, maybe. Okay, Steve? Maybe. Okay, Rena? Maybe. And I was no. <clears throat> so do we need, to, we need to come back and talk about this one? I think so. I think if people say maybe, we need maybe. to. Yeah, that's, that's uh, okay. All right, the next one is IS-183, Berkshire Arts Residency Program at the Red Lion Inn and Chesterwood. Mm -hmm. Okay, Leonel? Yes. Okay, Andrea? Yes. Ed? Um, I'm a maybe. I may be leaning to yes. <laughs> okay, Lynn? I'm a maybe. It's only two people. Okay, yeah, Mary? Maybe, same, same concept. Okay, Janet? Maybe. Steve? Yes. Rena? Uh, I need to recuse myself. I am, uh, I currently work for the National Trust for Historic Preservation, which owns Chesterwood. Okay, gotcha, all right. And I was uh, a yes, but we need to talk, talk about it. <laughs> okay, uh, next one is BTG Plays. That's the Berkshire Theater Group. Um, they, this is, they come to us basically every year to, to work in the schools, although this one takes place in the summer. 
So, Lionel. Uh, I, I, I just am going by the list and I, it's not in order at all. So even going from the bottom up. So. Uh, yeah, I think you must have done it the other way around, which is with the smart simple. There are two mm -hmm. ways into the to the this material. One is called the panel book, and one is called smart simple. And I think if you go in the smart simple way, it's actually reversed. I don't know why. No. I have complained. No, it's not that. just reversed. It's all over the place. Yeah, it's mine's all over too. Um, uh, Bizarre. Theater group, you know, Allison Bales. If that helps find it. Okay, that would be the applicant. The, the contact name is Allison R Rochelle Bales. No, I haven't encountered that name. No, it's Berkshire Theater Group is what Berkshire you're looking Theater for. Group. Berkshire Theater Group. Okay, so. ETG. ETG. But it says so. Berkshire Theater Group as the organization applying. All right, well, let's let's skip over Leonel again to, to take the pressure off him. So, Andrea? Yes. Uh, Ed? Yes. Lynn? Yes. Mary? Yes, maybe not. Well, yes. <laughs> Janet? Yes. Steve? Maybe. Rina? Yes. And I said uh, maybe, but not for the full amount. That, that's what I started <laughs> to say. Yeah. Okay, so we'll yeah. come back to that for the. Yeah, we have to go back to the amounts. I said yeah. maybe as well, yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, because, okay, uh, Karen, I, I mean, to be fair here, uh, so far is jumping names and so forth. And I'm on the state uh, site. So uh, uh, I don't want to be the first one. I need to find it, you know. Yeah. yeah. We're going to move you. We'll move you to the end. All right. So the next one is something called Rewritten. Um, it's by Tom Truss. Oh, Tom Truss. Yeah. Uh, no, no, yeah. He's asking for a thousand, which is... Says, you know, Does anybody know Tom Truss? I do. I mean, not personally, but I know him as an artist. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. You've seen his work? Absolutely. Both theater and dance. Okay. Andrea, then why don't you go first? I'm a yes. Okay. Ed? Maybe. Okay. Lynn? Maybe. Mary? Maybe. Janet? Maybe. Steve? Maybe. Rena? <laughs> Uh, yeah, I'm a maybe. Okay, I was a yes, but not for the full amount. Maybe. Yeah. Maybe Nelson, maybe. So we got to come back to that one. All right. Uh, music in Common, which is at Sheffield Group. They apply almost every year. Um, Does that appear under a different name? It's under Berkshire. Music in Common is the organization. But it, it's Berkshire's Worldwide. Yeah, that's right. Project yeah. Type. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Andrea. No. Ed. Um, no. Lynn. Maybe towards no. Okay, Mary. No. Janet. No. Steve. <laughs> you don't sound so sure. Maybe. No, I probably just feel, feel terrible. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Steve. Maybe. Okay. Uh, Rena. Okay. No. All right. And I said no. And Lionel. Uh, I could not find it by that appellation, so I will say maybe. Okay, so okay, I'm talking about it. All right. Um, Chester Theater Company, and this is one that actually takes place at Hancock Shaker Village. Otherwise, I wouldn't even be considering it. <clears throat> but, okay, well, so, only, because they, only because of the pandemic. Yeah, yeah. that's what it's happened. Yeah, 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 right. So, Andrea. Yeah. Um, maybe. Okay, Ed. Maybe. Lynn? No. Mary? Maybe. Janet? Maybe. Steve? Yes. Okay. Rena? Yeah, maybe. I'm a maybe. And Leonel? No. Okay. All right. We'll go back to that. This, was, this year, I felt, by the way, this year, I had a hard time being really clear. I had a lot of maybes. And I went back in several times and could not resolve it. So. All right. You know, last year we were almost all on the same page. I know. Every single one. I know. This year's I most think important. part of the problem is people were not as clear about what they were really going to use the money for. Yeah, I know. I, because I, of COVID, the, many for many of them. Where yeah. the benefit, you know, where the benefit is, it's other than sort of pay for my project, and that's all. What, you know. All right. So the next one is the duo pianists from Plymouth County. 
Uh, just before we go ahead, Leonel, if, Leonel, if you would provide your email, I could email you the panel book in order if, if you're interested in that. All right, but I won't be able to punch it in and get the full text, right? Uh, well, it's a PDF, and so you could, it's in order. Right, but it, it won't correspond to my notes, so, uh, but thank you, thank yeah. you. The duo pianists is the project title. The organization is Marilyn Morales. That's the next one we're on. Right, okay, so duo pianists, Andrea. No, Ed. Maybe. Okay, Lynn. Maybe towards no. Mary. No. Janet. No. Steve. No. Rena. No. I'm no. Leonel. No. Now for you maybes. They the one maybe right. Yeah, there's only. I was one. the only one, and I was leaning. I was maybe no. So I. I, I thought Ed was actually the only maybe. Uh, I, I'm happy with no. No, the reason I just want to point out they are actually, according to our rewritten guidelines, not eligible. Right. They oh. are from Plymouth County. Well, okay, so yes. Yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> so um, they have they have no venue organized it's giving them support. So they're they're definitely <laughs> they, they definitely know. Okay. All right. <clears throat> All right. Uh, Gregory Maychek, M-A-I-C-H-A-C-K, is the pastel guy. Get your Berkshire neighborhood. Yes, yes, that's right. That's right. Okay, um, Andrea. I'm no. sorry, what's the name of the organization? It's not an organization, it's an individual. Oh. He's an individual artist. Get yeah. your Berkshire neighborhood and express yourself in pastel. Right, right, right. Yeah. I said no. Okay, Ed. Wait, wasn't no. he going to work with the library though? He said he might. Yeah, there's oh. no commitment. No commitment. Okay. Yeah. I'm a, I'm a no. Um, Lynn. No. Mary. I can't find it. Okay. Oh, there he is. Okay. Oh, yeah. No. Okay. Janet. <laughs> no. Steve. No. Rena. No. Karen's no. Leanel. No. All right. Well, that was easy. All right. The 2021 Fall Festival of Shakespeare, Shakes and Co. Um, Andrea. Yes. Ed. Yes. Lynn. Yes. Mary. Yes. Janet. I'm on the advisory board, so I don't know if I can vote or not. If I, I could, can. I would definitely say yes. Okay. okay. <laughs> Steve. Yes. Rena. Yes. I'm yes. Leonel. Yes. Okay. Our first yes. It is. It's our first unqualified yes. That's right. Yeah. Right. Um, bringing nature to you. That's the mass Audubon that went in twice, and it is. Oh, okay. That, that was, was one thing. of my yeah. questions. Is it sounds like okay. Yeah. So we're, we're going yeah. with the one that says bringing nature to you. We could do either one. Not the one. That, right. Also, the date was wrong. He had the wrong yeah. year. <laughs> Oh, okay. yeah, we had at least two or three of those that had the wrong year. So, but uh, okay. So, but it is that's Audubon. It's a program at the library, and they have done this before. So, Andrea, yes, Ed, uh, I'm sorry. This is bringing nature. Yeah. Uh, no. Okay. Lynn, yes. Mary, yes. Janet, yes. Steve, yes. Rena, yes. I'm yes. Leonel. Yes. On second thought. <laughs> <laughs> That's the right response, Ed. You're so <laughs> amenable. <laughs> and, and, and I think you should say, oh, wait, that one. Yes, I want that one. <laughs> yeah, that was not believable, Ed. You have to do better next time. <laughs> okay, the next one is Dewey Presents. That's Dewey Hall. Um, hmm. And there were two different applications, which I found a little confusing, so I made a phone call. This one is general support for whatever programming that Dewey Hall and Sheffield will be offering. Okay. Is this the one that um, is a total of 19120 It's $500. 500 yeah, okay. Okay. I just um, want to be sure I have the right one. I know, there's two different yeah. ones. But this yeah. is the one that is for the, the organization Dewey Hall Presents. Okay. okay. Mm -hmm. um, Andrea. No. Ed. 
Um, no. Lynn, no. Mary, no. Janet, no. Steve, maybe. Hey, Karina, no. I'm no. Lionel, no. Okay. Uh, Steve, are you okay with us moving on and just and saying no to this, or do you really want to have a conversation about it? Uh, well, is this time to have the conversation? No, nah, we'll have to come back to it. That's fine. Okay. I'll be brief whenever. <laughs> You're tantalizing it with conversation. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Berkshire Pulse is the next one. Dance Outdoors Festival. Yes. Ed? Maybe. Lynn? So, yes, but probably not the full amount. Mary? I'm sorry, I'm still looking. I'll have to go to the end. Okay, Janet? Uh, I'm on the board of the Mount. Is the venue, does it matter? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Steve? Maybe. Rena? Yes, but if they're dancing at Chesterwood, I guess I have to be recused as well. So, I don't, <laughs> yeah. I, I'm, I'm a yes, uh, not the full amount. Um, I'm, a question, I'm a question mark only because we have three proposals from the mount. But it is not a proposal from the mount. I understand that, but I'm just saying when we're looking at the funding, I feel like, you know, we need to just balance. All right. Well, well we can come back and have a conversation about it. Lionel, where are you on this one? I, it's, it's a yes. <laughs> okay. So we'll have to come back and talk about it a little bit. Also, um, Definitely not a thousand. I mean, there's no way we can get yeah. back into one. Okay. Um, Pittsfield Shakespeare in the Park. Um, you know, they've been doing this for a long time. It's the first time they've ever come to us for money. Oh. Um, so, Andrea. No. Ed. Yes. Lynn. Maybe. Mary. Maybe. Janet. Yes. Uh, Steve. Yes. Rena. Maybe. I'm a maybe. Lionel? Maybe. Okay, we'll come back and talk about it. Okay. <clears throat> right of Passage 2020 Vision. Um, what? Who's the organization? You know, I, that was there, one of the confusing. It's so there isn't. An, it's, an, it's an individual artist who's working with a bunch of different places. Um, oh, I have new um, stage performing arts for next. Is that? No? So do I. Oh, there it is. That's Rites of Passage. It's New Stage Performing Arts. Yeah. Okay. Oh, there it is. Oh, New Stage Performing Arts. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Mine, to, to find them, I need the organization, not the project. No. Oh, I'm a maybe. Okay. Ed? I'm sorry, Rites of Passage? Yeah. yeah. That's a no. Okay. Uh, Ed? Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, Lynn? Maybe. Mary? Maybe. Janet? Maybe. Steve? Maybe. Rena? Yes. I'm a maybe. Lionel? No. Okay. Come back to that one. Okay. Seven R's Music Festival? No, not eligible. <laughs> Ed? Maybe. Lynn? No. Mary? No. Janet? No. Steve? Is Worthington in Berkshire County? You know. <laughs> <laughs> oh. That's a no. <laughs> it, I mean, this is supposed to be really for Stockbridge, not even the whole of Berkshire yeah. County. Right. Yeah. Rena? Uh, well, I'm having trouble finding this. Sorry, Seven Arts, let me. Uh, it's a music festival. They're 53rd. Oh, yeah, no. Okay. Uh, uh, I'm a no. And lightly an L? Uh, no. Okay. Um, These applications are so long. I know. Um, it, uh, Steve, were you the one who said maybe? No, no, you asked. I, I was. No. I was maybe, but that was a, a misspoken maybe. That was. Yeah. It was really a no. <laughs> that, that was a maybe for a different project. Maybe. You're getting better at it. My dinner is getting cold, people. I'm, I'm almost <laughs> believing you this time. All right, we'll vote for you. <laughs> I'm having cereal for dinner. <laughs> okay, the next. Yeah, I gave up on. The next one is Chainsaws, Cheeseburgers, and Rock and Roll Live. No. <laughs> Ed? It's no. food, yes. <laughs> Lynn? No. Mary? No. Janet? No. Steve? Maybe. Rina? I'm a yes. 
Did you guys, uh, no, just a question. Did any of you actually click through and watch his video? But he doesn't have a commitment from anywhere in Berkshire yeah. County. Oh, he has to have yeah. the commitment. Yeah. To not stuff. Oh, okay. yeah, otherwise, otherwise we fund him and he does it somewhere else. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. So, so I'm going to know because as far as I can tell, he doesn't fit our guidelines. Yeah. yeah. If he doesn't fit the guidelines, he doesn't. Yeah. No, for the same reason. Yeah. yeah. But, but he's a pretty cool guy. Actually, I was so annoyed with him. I didn't click through, but I was so annoyed with him. I discovered I have, I now have four no's next to his name. <laughs> well, I get frustrated by that. There are a couple that we were coming back to, but they're asking for general support and it's not what we're supposed to be doing. Uh, we can talk about that, Mary. That's not, I don't think that's yeah. totally true. I don't think that's totally true either. Yeah. Yeah. But we need to talk about it. And I think it's right. not a case by case Good. basis. Okay, the next one is the Berkshire Ukulele, Ukulele Band and Berkshire Sings, otherwise known as Bub. Uh, Andrea. Yes. Ed? No. Lynn? Yes. Mary? Yes. Janet? Yes. Steve? Yes. Rena? Yes. Well, yes. Leonel? Yes. Maybe. Okay. okay. We'll talk about it. Um, I said maybe we give them a little less this year for my, as part of my yes. But um, now the next one is bringing nature to libraries and community centers. And that's the Mass Audubon one. So we don't have to do that. Right. Okay. All right. Uh, global influences on American music. This is, takes place in, at Muddy Brook <coughs> Elementary School. All right. Andrea? Yes. Ed? Maybe. Lynn? Uh, I'm going to yes and then a maybe. So I guess maybe. Okay, Mary? Yes. Janet? I'm going to say maybe also. Okay, Steve? Yes. Rena? Yes. I'm a yes. Lionel? Maybe. Okay, so we need to talk about that one. Okay. The next <laughs> one is the Dewey Sessions Concerts, which is separate from the Dewey Hall. Right. Uh, this, and I know this because I actually called the person involved in it because I was could not figure out what they were doing. So this is for an outdoor concert series and it's separate from the Dewey Hall. These are these two women who are organizing the concert series. It takes place at Dewey Hall. Okay. Andrea. No. Ed. No. Lynn. No. Mary. No. Janet. No. Steve. Yes. Rina. No. I'm a no. Lionel? No. Okay. Um, can we agree that's enough no's to not go back and talk about it or? What, what's the protocol or the history? Is you normally go for a quorum of-, of uh, We monkeys? should talk about it. We, we yeah. Should, well, we talk about it. it's fine, we talk about it. Um, Stockbridge Sinfonia 2021 concert series. Um, Maybe. Okay, Ed? Maybe. Lynn? No. Mary? I have to find it, sorry. Okay, no problem. Janet? Maybe. Steve? Uh, yes. Uh, Rena? Maybe. I'm a no, but we'll come back and talk about it. You know. No. Okay. Uh, History of Ice Glen and Ice Harvesting uh, Commerce in Stockbridge takes place at the Stockbridge Library. Yes. Ed? No. Lynn? Yes. Mary? Yes. Janet? Yes. Steve? Maybe. Rena? Yes. I'm a yes. Lionel? Yes. Okay. But Can I make a comment? Can I ask a question? Ed, is Barbara still on the library board? <laughs> it's Ed on the Stockbridge. Ed, is Barbara, is your wife on the Stockbridge Library oh, board? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Um, I think not. I think she's now off. Oh, okay. <laughs> Sorry, I, I, I wasn't paying attention. Okay. I was, thinking hungry. About, I was thinking about my dinner. So we had a one no and one maybe. Do we want, do we need to save that and keep going or I do you want to so. ask? Okay. Yeah. Unless we get really bogged down and we have to start slashing, okay. you know, for efficiency's sake, let's, let's try to give everything a a fair talk. The next one is ice. You know, Lynn, I changed my mind. Lynn, Lynn, she, I believe she is still on it because I think she's still going to the meetings. 
I think okay. I think okay. you're not eligible. So I think you're, you yourself. yeah, your vote doesn't count. Yeah. yeah. So, so Steve, you were the mate. Were you the maybe or the no? Uh, I believe he was the maybe. Yes. Okay. So, do you want us to come back and revisit that, or are you uh, good with going with yes? Yeah, I'm good with it. <laughs> okay. Yes. Okay. We'll call that a yes. So that's going to be a yes. <clears throat> All right, very good. Next one is Ice Fire. That's the sculpt that was the sculpture one I sent you all an email where they had to simply change. I guess they the couple actually got COVID and they have to change it to next year. So they have these new dates. So it's happening in 2022. Um, it's happening at the mount. Okay, outdoor sculpture. Um, ice sculpture. Okay, Andrea. Yes. Ed. No. Lynn. Yes. Mary. Maybe. Janet? It's at the Mount, so I have to recoup. <coughs> oh, that's right. Sorry. Steve? A uh, quick question. If this is for another year, are we obligated to commit funds this year? Can't they reapply? Uh, they, had, they had gone to the trouble of going to Mass Cultural Council and clearing this with them. Uh, okay. Uh, in that case, I'm a maybe. Okay. <laughs> um, I'm a yes. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> and Lionel? Yes. Okay. Rena, did you say? And I know I hadn't. Um, I'm a maybe. Okay. So we need to come back to it. Yeah. Right. All right. Arts in recovery for youth. Um, yeah. Okay. Ed. Yes. Lynn. Yes. Mary. Yes. Janet. Yes. Steve. Yes. Rena. Yes. I'm yes. Lionel. Maybe. <laughs> Do you want to revisit this, Lionel? Is everybody else seeing a yes? Uh, 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 no, I'd like to. I'd like to discuss it. I'd like to understand oh, why. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Um, hip hop dance chair exercise for seniors. They're not oh. eligible. They yeah, don't have. Yeah. They're based in Randolph and they don't have a commitment in Stockbridge. Right. Oh, I thought they did at the Stockbridge Senior Center. No, I, I confirmed. I thought I read that. Well, it looks, sounds like that. So I actually called her and she said that she sent an email to our Senior Center, but has no specific <laughs> commitment. Okay, okay. Yeah. Then I think that, that yeah. we, we, we don't. If they it. have it, I want to go. <laughs> <laughs> sounds like a yes. Okay. All right, so I know. <laughs> So Andrea? Uh, I said, no, I don't think they're eligible. Right, and Ed? No. Okay. If they're not eligible, why are we voting? Yeah. yeah. Okay. It's definitely no. <clears throat> In my letter to her, I'll, I'll let her know that if she had gotten support from the venue, that would have been a whole different yeah. thing. Um, art close to home? Maybe. Okay, Ed? No. Lynn? No. Mary? No. Janet? Um, I don't remember this one. I'm sorry. I'm going to say maybe because I'm pulling up on my notes here. Okay. Steve? Maybe. Rena? Yeah, I'm a maybe. Okay. Lionel? No. I was a no, but it looks like we have, we need to come back to it. Okay. Uh, summer concerts in the Chinese garden. Yes. Who, who's the um, actual? Now, now keg. Lena. Uh, it's no, actually, no, uh, didn't apply. It's Cantalina Chamber. Oh, Cantalina. Yeah. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Andrea says yes. Ed? No. Lynn? Uh, strong maybe. Mary? Question mark. Maybe. Janet? I'm going to say maybe also for now. Steve? Maybe. Uh, Rena? Yes. Lionel? No. Uh, I was yes, but obviously we need to come back to it. Okay, take the lead program. And I don't, I don't have it written down in my notes who, who that is. Does someone know what that yeah, is? Berkshire Children's oh, Chorus. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay, Andrea? Yes. Ed? Maybe. Lynn? Yes. Mary? No. Janet? Yes. Steve? Yes. Rena? Yes. Lionel? No. I'm a no, but obviously we have to come back. Okay, so now we are back at the beginning. All right. 
So we have um, only two yeses. No, no, sorry. We have four yeses. And we have four not eligibles. And every everything else is a uh, There's one no. And then everything else is a maybe. We have lots of maybes. Starting yeah. with Laurel Hill. How, how much money on the on the yeses in total? Well, if we give them everything, which we yeah, we yeah, never. Right. I mean, we, we yeah. usually don't. But I mean, it's just of the actual yeses. Uh, let's see, twelve hundred, seventeen hundred. We seventeen hundred of the four yeses. But usually, we we don't. Um, and I, Karen, I don't know if you want to speak to this. We we don't usually um, determine it by by the amount of money. Don't we figure out like who's sort of worthy and then figure out the money? Or that's yeah, that's what we do. Well, I, I thought that would that I thought that would let us know what the remaining money was since those were unanimous. But but it doesn't mean that we're going to give them everything that they asked for. It just it just means that we agree that it should be funded. Okay. Yeah. But but even even at, if we gave them the full amount of you think you said seventeen hundred that's what I just off the top of my head got seventeen hundred we have sixty five sixty three to give out we still have plenty yeah. to give out yeah yeah all right so let's go back to Laurel Hill um, and someone else is going to need to lead that discussion because I'm not talking about it <laughs> so who were the people who were either no's or maybes on Laurel Hill. I think I might have been a, a maybe. I'm trying to flip to it right now. Because okay. I was a yes. yes. So I was probably a maybe also. Yeah, if any, if that's what I would say. Any of the maybes, if they want to say why they don't want to fund this or they're not sure. Um, I'm willing to say a few words. <laughs> <Get Okay. it. laughs> uh, but, but allow me to ask, because I'm a newbie, uh, there are some things that I don't know about the history of this committee's work. For instance, um, well, I don't know of the, the uh, applicants that we have here. I'm, I'm not always sure which ones have worked here with us in the past and which ones are new. And so as we go through, maybe people would advise me. But you, but you know what, Steve, that's okay, because in many, in many cases, it's better to just oh, look at it for sure. the, the it quality for of that particular mm -hmm. applicant, yeah. Um, yeah. so that you don't get into that habit of funding people just because they've been funded. Yes, yes, but, I agree. Uh, so, so what my, would be your reason? Well, my, my questions are, um, what about the COVID-19 alternative plan? It wasn't clear to me in their application what that was. Uh, will there be an alternate library seating plan if COVID-19 impinges? And will there be a sufficient space in the library because there'll be rain? These are my concerns. I, I don't have concern about the worthiness of the, of the presentation, just some of the detail that doesn't seem fleshed out to me. So I guess I'd say, if uh, the rest of you feel that uh, all those things can be dealt with, I would I would vote in favor of some funding. Yeah, I, I just as maybe the only other question mark, I was kind of in the same camp. It was like, it's beautiful to have a day dedicated to women, but I just wasn't, I didn't, I guess I didn't feel as much like I knew what it really was. So anybody, you know, anybody who voted yes want to help? Yeah, um, Laurel Hill Day, it happens every year. And this is just the theme for this year. And I, I'm pretty sure, and of course it doesn't say that, you know, this could happen outdoors by town hall the way the town meeting did la was held last year. Um, you know, if uh, if it can't be done indoors, um, you know, I think I think that they've had to probably deal with weather in the past. It's kind of a longstanding event. Mm -hmm. And well, I can I can say this much: weather, it's always outdoors unless it rains, and then they That's go. I saw it. Yeah. Right. I saw it. 
a nice yeah, so, community gathering, which I think is a very... Right. I think there are so few things that actually happen mm -hmm. in Stockbridge. Mm -hmm. So that's why I like to support. That's yeah. why I get it. I mean, yeah. it's, such a, it's such a wonderful organization. I think they've been around for hundreds of years. Yeah. Well, I mean, I want to support Laurel Hill. I just, I didn't feel inspired by what I read. And so oh. it's hard kind of say for this I want to give you know I mean I want to give to Laurel Hill it just didn't right. I mean I don't mind if we fund it I just I mean it it's you know speakers talking about the environment and historic preservation and yeah I don't know and in this case women so and women it seems yes. like something that people would enjoy and it's if people come together for this yeah. celebration, you know, they become increasingly aware of the organization, then would be more inclined to support it outright themselves. So I think it's a wonderful thing. Mm -hmm. I do as well. Have we turned the maybes? Sure. Yeah. Mary? Sure. Okay. Okay. All right. So we'll do that as a yes. All right. Got it. All right, so the, the next maybe is the um, Second Nature Arts Light Bright Art. It's an art project for grades three through eight, Berkshire Hills. Um, since I'm talking, I might as well start. Um, I was concerned, I'm, I'm a maybe, or a maybe a yes, but not as much money. Uh, there's only 25 students served. It does have a letter of support. So that bothers me, it's only 25 students. But it does have a letter of support from the school. And it's actually happening like now, February and March. Um, I did talk to the woman who's running it. And, um, I, you know, and I, when I reread it, I thought, well, it sounds kind of like a sweet little project, but it's 500 seems a little high from my point of view. So mm -hmm. any other thoughts? Um, the school's letter said that they work with, oh, you're right. Um, the school's letter referenced 250 people. So I guess this is their new COVID. Oh, the new yeah. COVID count. That, yeah. Could be, that could be, yeah. It was a little confusing. And I'm trying yeah. to separate the fact that I didn't find the woman to be very helpful when I spoke with her, the artist. I'm well, trying to separate my, that reaction from my reading of the project. Well, yeah, I would think she'd be very yeah. helpful. I mean, I guess I had two issues. One was if it is only 25 students. $500 for 25 students as opposed to some of the other projects that have been mm. I, I wonder if it was a typo on her part. Like, which is the typo? The, the, yeah. Right. Yeah. The 25,000. But, but the flip side of that is also, if it's already going on, they must have already found the funding. I mean, I'm not, I, I just always get confused by that when they're doing it retroactively. Uh, well, I don't think they actually intended to be retroactive exactly. I just, I, I don't, and it, it's, I, it, I don't think it actually has happened yet. So I think, I didn't mean to confuse things. I just wanted to point out that it is, they're, they're on, on track to do it. Um, I don't know. Um, it's not high on my list, you know, transferring from maybe to, but um, I don't know, what, what some other thoughts. Maybe still keep it a maybe until we see if we have the money for it. It's an idea. I think like, that's a good plan. I like yeah. that. I'm not. I'm not swayed. I'm not swayed. Yeah. yeah. I want okay. to jump. All right. That, that that sounds good. Um, let's go on to the next one, which is the Indigenous Peoples Day Walk. And I, I mm -hmm. um, let me give you some information that I I got from talking to the somewhat vague guy. He's a bit a bit crunchy going <laughs> on. Um, but uh, his proposal is that the money is to get the Indian speaker here. He's estimating about 500 people to be served and then 20 students. I was wondering like, what, like, what are these 20 students? Well, the organizer has close relationship with Railroad Street uh, Youth Group. And so they're gonna do an event uh, with these students and also Greenagers is gonna be involved and there's other groups involved. They're gonna have the speakers and then walk along the river, maybe. Uh, other events and workshops over the entire weekend leading up to the day, which is Monday. Um, so I had some questions for him. I said, what actually happens on the actual event? And so he gave me some information. They haven't actually chosen all their sites yet. Um, 
I asked why $1,000 for space rental, since they also say that Mahawi is giving them space for free. And he said, well, we're having different events, but we haven't settled on them yet. And so we might need to spend money for rentals, but they haven't settled on the events yet. And I asked him why nothing in Stockbridge since Stockbridge. My, my was connection is going very bad. What? Ed's connection is going very bad. Oh, He's oh, sorry. Oh, sorry. All right, well. I think he's frozen. Yeah. Ed, do you want to try to just call in, not use video? What well, he's lost. I don't think he can hear your suggestion. No, no. Hmm. Oh dear. Uh, maybe we can get help from our, our, our from Steve. Steve, are you listening? Uh, yes. yes. Well, I, what do you need? I am, but I'm not uh, competent. No, 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 no. I'm sorry. No, Steve. Steve, the community TV guy. Yes, uh, yes, I'm here. What, what do you need? Karen. Uh, Ed Lane has frozen and he... nothing, it, only Ed can do it. Yeah, I think log he out and then log back he's probably going to come back yeah. in. Okay, yeah. so logged out and then he's going to log in again, hopefully. Okay, all right. All right, should I keep going? Yeah, I think so you have to wait for him to come in, but because... What did we decide on this one? We haven't decided. We haven't. We haven't. You, you, you were just about to tell us why they're not doing anything in Stockbridge. Yes, yeah. <laughs> um, because we are the mission town. And he yeah. said, well, you know, maybe maybe we'll come up with an event for Stockbridge. Yeah. Um, this is only the second year they've done it. It is an expanding program. He was a little he was a little naive. And at one point when I said, why not Stockbridge? He said, um, well, you know, if you give us money, we'll do something in Stockbridge. I know. And I said, I said, don't don't say that. Yeah. <laughs> you know, that's that sounds Ooh, like it's back. Uh, okay. that. <laughs> that is back, but there he is. And he's on mute. Okay, Ed, you're back. That's wonderful. You, yeah. You've convinced me to go from a yes to a no. Oh, yeah, I'm sick uh, okay. of the no. Yeah. Can I argue for yes. the yes? No. Can I argue for the yes, please? Absolutely. Uh, you, know, you know, the whole country is working really hard to try to tell a fuller story uh, of the history of America. And Stockbridge has a very, very rich history uh, in terms of the Native American population. And Bidwell House has been telling that story this season. Mm -hmm. uh, Williamstown has been grappling with it. Um, and Stockbridge has really, I mean, despite what the earlier history is, Stockbridge has worked hard to have a warm and open relationship with the Stockbridge Muncie Indians. And yet so many people who live here don't know that. Uh, Bonnie Hartley actually now has offices in Williamstown. Um, she spoke at Bidwell and I heard she's extremely well-spoken and interesting. And there, the, the Indians are starting an archeology span project uh, to find where there was a great feast that George Washington sponsored for them as a thank you uh, after the revolution. And, you know, I just think as residents of Stockbridge, it's really important that we continue to work to make sure that people know the story of what happened here. And so, you know, I really encourage you to vote yes on this, despite the fact that the person organizing it is fairly but, disorganized. You know, it, Rita, that was the reason why I originally voted yes, but then listening to Karen in terms of how disorganized it is and the attitude, like maybe we could put something on Stockbridge, I, it makes me wonder this is the right group for us to be support. I, I mean, I would I would love to support the the Stockbridge Muncie, you know, who are going to be based in Williamstown to do a program in Stockbridge. But I, I'm that's my my concern is just is this going to be a mess? Mm -hmm. Well, my concern is we don't oh, have that much money to to give out and. I believe and I think in the past this committee has always gone for events that were going to take place literally in Stockbridge and he's not committing to that. Well, there are a number of people we're saying yes to that aren't, you know, the Mount is not Stockbridge. I and, uh, you I know, did. so, so <laughs> we've already broken that boundary. So I know I, that I, to me is not a valid argument anymore. Yeah. Well, it also is, it's not a fixed boundary of my, my, I think what we've said in the past is if we can do Stockbridge first, that's great. Mm -hmm. And the truth yeah. is there aren't enough applicants to, to take all the money from Stockbridge. If there were, great, but they're not. Right. So then we move out from there. 
um, Andrea, you said it very well. Um, and Rena, I agree with you completely. I would like to support. I, but the fact that they didn't even approach Stockbridge, I find a little mind boggling. Um, and Bonnie knows what we have here and, you know, and Bonnie's a wonderful speaker. Um, so I, I've kind of gone back and forth. I'm a maybe, we're certainly not going to give them a thousand. Um, no, yeah. no. <clears throat> Um, but they've anyway. done this. They've done this before, right? What, what was that? I'm they have done this before. This is only they're, this, they're going into their second year. Oh, okay. This is this last year was their first year, Steve. Well, I agree with much of what's been said, and I suspect it's either not our place or perhaps it's too late to uh, negotiate with this gentleman. But it. Whatever we do, any amount that we give, we should give it with the, the codicil that uh, we're disappointed that he hasn't uh, put Stockbridge in his plan and communicated that to us. Uh, and that might not bode well for future performances. I don't know if that's kosher, but oh, my oh, feelings. Oh, absolutely. I, yes. I, I mean, I just feel like Columbus Day is a big weekend in Stockbridge. We have a lot of people here and it's such a, I mean, I, I so agree with what everybody's been saying, particularly Rina. I mean, we should be like the center of this celebration of the Native Americans. And he's basically taking it to Housatonic and maybe Pittsfield and who knows where. Well, actually, Great Barrington. They're actually, yeah, Great Barrington. They're also doing something near uh, Concapont Creek, which is, or Concapont River, which is, I think he said in Otis, and I thought Concapont lived here in Stockton. Yeah. His home yeah. is here. Yeah, so uh, I just, I, I feel like if we're evaluating it on the merits, I just, I don't feel like it was as thought out. So I guess I'm still, I'm still putting it at the absolute bottom of my maybes. Would it be worth going around again for a vote? Um, see how everyone's feeling right now? Lynn? Um, I'm still no. Okay. Um, Ed? I'm still a maybe. Okay. Lynn, uh, Andrea? I'm a no. Okay. Mary? Maybe at best. Okay. Janet? Um, I wish I could say otherwise, but I'm going to have to say no, I think. Okay. Steve? I'm saying maybe headed toward no. Okay. <laughs> Rena? We, uh, I'm still a yes, not at what they're asking for, but... Okay. All right, uh, Lee Yeah, the individual character there is is uh, is calling for a no. Okay, well, this is a tough one because I'm I'm also leaning toward no. Um, whatever we do, by the way, we can certainly put something in to e either either a yes letter or a no letter that says um, next year you should you know do something in Stockbridge and we, we will look upon you more favorably. With whichever yeah, way. I mean, um, I would. I would love to see that. I would love to see, please reapply when you have a project for our town. And there's a part of me that would love to see the Stockbridge Cultural Council's name on any information that is published as supporters of this event, you yeah. know. I can see that too. I can. That's why I'm still a question mark. He, he is applying to six other cultural councils. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Well, they usually well, do. They, they all do. Well, um, not all of them, yeah. Yeah, I mean, I think you can give, you know, a few hundred dollars and say, next year in Stockbridge, we'll do better by you. But, you know, if we can. I think, I think it's leaning, we, I think we only have one yes and two maybes. Is, is that right? Yeah, that's right. Two maybes. Do we want to hold, hold on that and keep going and revisit it? And if we feel like we can spare like a hundred or two hundred dollars. It's a good idea. Right. Let's, let's do that. Okay, the Meeting House Programs, the New Marlboro Village Association. Um, I, I'm gonna say no, uh, I've said no, because it doesn't serve Stockbridge. Um, they really get a ton of money from all the places. One, wasn't there one maybe? It was Steve, I think Steve maybe we were maybe the maybe there, or the yes. Are you speak to me? Yeah, I think you were the maybe, were you the maybe or was Lionel? Who was the maybe oh. there? You know. Uh, I don't think so. No, no I, said I'm, no. Saying, I'm saying no because it's New Marlboro. I mean, right. Well, if I said maybe, <laughs> it's because 
perhaps I didn't know at the time okay. that we were supposed to target Stockbridge. Gotcha. And if okay. that's really true, that may affect my, <laughs> I may need to revisit some of mine. Okay. Well, I don't think it's that it has to be at Stockbridge, but I think right. one, of the, one of the logics for why we turned them down last year was we don't even think anybody from Stockbridge goes. Oh, I go. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh there you go. <laughs> All right, I see you where you're There you go, wrong. <laughs> um, so it just, it's like, where's the benefit to the community? The other, the other thing is that it, it, the music costs 20 or 25. So, and the, and the art is free, but most of the programs actually cost, even with our support. And I feel like- That's oh, right. You know, yeah. That's right, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, so, but 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 it's not a it's not a rule that it has to be in stock no. you know, We just no. it's just a priority when it's in stock It's our so, preference. Yes. Yeah. Uh, the thing that made me think in favor of it, one of the things is that it's a summer long program, so Stockbridge people have lots of opportunities to go occasionally. Okay. All right. Well. So, so, is anyone still vacillating, or can we call this a no? I'm, I'm still a no. I'm still a no. It's fine with me. I'll okay, go good. All right. We got well, it. Then it is a no, then, people. All right. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, the IS 183 uh, Berkshire Artist Residency Program uh, at the Red Line Inn in Chesterwood. Um, I'm going to go first. Um, I, I, I'm not wild that it's two artists, but I love this kind of thing and this supposedly artist talk. Um, however, I do want to Can I ask why, what, when you say you're not wild, it's two artists, like how many artists would you expect uh, it to be? <laughs> and and I, I'm just, I mean, really, like it's a res, I mean, I'm curious. No, I, no, 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 you're right. No, you're right. So yeah. that one. Um, <laughs> I'm actually more concerned about something else, which is because they say they've been doing this for years, but the red line in, I think, has not been doing a good job of promoting it. Um, I'm happy that it's a Chesterwood as well, because I think they'll do a better job promoting yeah. it. Um, but I, I like the idea and they are a Stockbridge organization. So mm -hmm. I was a yes for that. So what, who's the maybe? Who is that? Applicant, I'm sorry, I'm trying to find them. The applicant's IS 183. Oh, got it. Got yes. It. Mm -hmm. Who was the maybe or the no? I, I was, was a maybe. I was a, I was a maybe. maybe. Okay. Why? I was a maybe because I, I, Having gone inside the Red Lion Inn and seen art, I felt like the primary benefit was really just people who were already staying at the Red Lion Inn. And it's kind of what, Lynn, um, what Karen was just saying, who even knows that it's there? So you literally are coming down to the reach being people who are paying the Red Lion Inn as opposed to the public. I, I, I would have wow. to, to say something about that. I, when I have guests from France or Tunisia or whatsoever, I take them to the Red Lion Inn to show them uh, Stockbridge. The Red Lion Inn is Stockbridge. Yeah. Uh, so uh, you go in there and you visit. Uh, that's my experience with the Red Lion. But do we, are we funding things for tourists or are we funding things for residents? Mm. Well, it's, I, I feel like I like Lionel. I I will go to the Red Line oh, and I'll yeah. go to Chesterwood as well. And so I'll go to Chesterwood if they're you know like I wouldn't necessarily go to the I mean I go to the Red Line and have a drink on the porch. I you know I've been to Chesterwood a bunch of times. I wouldn't necessarily go there just to see Chesterwood, but I would go there to see an artist. Um, yeah, well, I just I just feel like it's it's something that benefits Stockbridge. And, and I mean, and things that benefit tourists also benefit Stockbridge if they're mm -hmm. tourists in Stockbridge. I like the fact, like Karen said, if it actually is going to be promoted better, but I didn't really get that sense huh? from the application. Well, it's... They didn't, they didn't say they were going to promote it better. I'm saying they think they need to. Yeah. yeah. No, but that's what I'm saying. That's what I was saying. I didn't see. I just, I felt like you. I felt like. Yeah. But I know. It's I, wonderful I actually, that there's options. I do feel that Chesterwood will promote the, the bejesus out of it because they, they really want to get people out there. Yeah. So. 
but they also mentioned that uh, they, it may not happen due to COVID. So that would be the residency would take place at IS 83, which is of course not a place that so many people go to and visit and enjoy the culture of Stockbridge. Does it say yeah. that? Yeah, well, I, that's what I read, if I recall. I mean, I, I didn't write that. Uh, no. I don't remember reading that anyway. I don't either. I don't yeah. Know. The letter yeah. does not say that. Yeah. Yeah. I, I must have gone on, on to deeper uh, perspective here, but uh, maybe on their site. No, it, it's on the application yeah. somewhere that I read that. Yeah, but, no, that, but that's not the residency. They're asking specifically for the residency. It's that's correct. But in the, yeah, well, in the letter it said, you know, and it may just be at, you know, at, at the school. So, so that's why I had a uh, question. Um, so Chesterwood, the grounds will be open even if the buildings are closed. Yeah, I don't see where you're reading that in a letter. I don't, I don't, I don't see, see where you're reading that. Okay. Yeah. I think then, this is fake news. Sorry, but I think yeah. it's <laughs> <laughs> Are you getting this from One Network or Network One or whatever it's called? <laughs> one Network America. That's it, that's it, that's it. How are the, how are the students at IS-183 involved in any of this? It, it's not, it's not, I mean, they're certainly, it says that they invite, you know, that they, in the social, <clears throat> there's a social media reference here. So, uh, yeah, the artist talk and any courses taught by resident artists will be promoted through IS 183's online course catalog. Uh, the concluding exhibitions will be advertised on local event calendars and open to the public. Um, it'll be co-promoted through digital advertisements, social media promotion, websites, and press releases. That doesn't say whether the classes are actually online. The catalog is online. But but that's not about the, the this it's is about the artist the residency. It's just, it's about the residency. Yeah. It's, it's not about, about the classes. classes. It's not about and classes. then their catalog is online. So yeah. I guess I guess I'll speak my question mark to a yes. Okay. And I'm happy to change to a yes as well. I'm happy to change to a yes as well. I am if if needed. <laughs> <laughs> To a yes. We always need you to All right. Yeah. How do you want to do that, Karen? Is it a yes or do, are we revisiting? Oh, is someone else still holding out? No, I think. I, think, we, I think we're at a yes. We're at a yes. Okay. All right. Good. Got it. Uh, BTG, BTG plays, Berkshire Theater Group plays. And I'm going to say first, overall, I like the project, but I'm not happy with the number, with the cost to the participants. It's $250 for a full day. 175 for a half day and they say scholarships are available i wish they had asked for our money to go to scholarships that i could do very comfortably but they're not saying that also with their marketing promotion plan they have a thousand dollars in their budget and yet it's going out to they're collecting people kids for the summer so they're going to school so why do you need a thousand dollars for the promotion so i said maybe at, at 250. I should have liked 250 better than 500. I, I had a yes, but only partial. I, I did as well. Yeah, I would go maybe, on that. 250. Maybe we can vote on how do we feel about 250? That's fine. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Sure. I'm going yeah. to put in yes at 250. Okay, perfect. Well, I hear 275. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, rewritten is that um, that, that artist um, performer, Tom Trust. Tom Trust. Oh, Tom, Tom Trust. Trust. And I like it actually that it takes place all over South County, and Stockbridge Library is one of the possible sites. Now it's not definite, but other sites have already been identified. Um, but I liked it. I thought it was a really intriguing, oh, no. unusual yeah. artist-based mm -hmm. activity, which we don't get a lot of. And obviously, we can't give a thousand, so I'm suggesting a yes at four fifty or five hundred. I can go lower. <laughs> That's okay. I would change my maybe to a yes for 450 or 500. Okay. Me too. I would change to a yes for 300. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I, shouldn't we wait and see how much money we have left with yeah. all the side yeses I, before yeah. we say Maybe it? Maybe Andre, you could say yes, but not full. 
Well, yeah. we say yes, but right at a reduced yeah. rate. Okay. Uh, okay. Music and uh, music and comment is the next one. Um, and uh, again, my comments. Uh, I don't see how this actually benefits any community. Um, the musicians it's like are, a commercial. Yeah, it's very commercial. The music, yeah. musicians are not getting paid. And they seem to be including musicians who have a ton of money, like Yo-Yo Ma and James <laughs> Taylor, and who could support the project. And a music video online, to me, is a lesser product. Yeah. And uh, they come to us for money all the time, and they've got money. And I just, they just, they annoy me. But, um, so my, I, well, I just feel that. like when it's online, there's so much already online. Exactly. That's not, that's I mean, right. Google yeah. it. You can find Are it. there any yeses who yeah, want to not, speak in that, their defense? In their defense, yes. That's yeah. good. Were, there, were there any yeses who want to speak up for them? I may have been a yes. And I also, <laughs> I may also may possibly should have recused myself. Only because okay. when that organization began, uh, I was teaching at BCC, and some of those original members were some of my students. Oh. And so that you know, I, I was very aware of that that beginning movement, uh, and so I have a little bit of a soft spot in my heart for that. Yeah. So, but I understand what you're saying, and I don't have a problem uh, backing off. Okay. Okay. All right. So we'll go with no, uh, and the reason is because. If it's online and not taking place in Stockbridge, and we or... think they're well funded already, and well funded, I, and I, don't, I don't think we can say that. that. We can't we make that as well funded yeah. already. Yeah, but the musicians are not getting paid, so oh, I'm just not sure okay. what the money, where the money's going. You know, great, that's perfect. I, I just feel like, what's it for? Questionable okay. benefit. Yeah, yeah, great. That was my question to begin with. Yeah, I, I don't see how it benefits our community. Um, the Chester yeah. Theater Company. Um, so at least this year, this project takes place relatively nearby. I think the ticket prices seem high, though. And I wish they would say that our money is going to underwrite the free tickets, which they say they're going to be, you know, given out. Um, but they're not asking for a lot of money. So that was one of that was my maybe, you know, I, I like the ideas of, of outdoor something that that people here could go to more comfortably. Um, if they, so anyway, that's my baby. Very I, well. Mine, very just there. for the record, mine was very similar. I just, yeah. it, these organizations that don't say, if you give us money, we'll give away free tickets so more people from the community can come. So um, they say that the cost for, for attendees is zero to 47.50. So there's a, a range of prices. Mm -hmm. um, I think Chester Theater Company is, you know, it's a good company that it's hard to get to see because like who wants to drive back from Chester late at right. night to Stockbridge. Yeah. So having them cl as close as Hancock Shaker Village is, is really, you know, a benefit for them and for Stockbridge residents. I was, I was actually thinking about that. I'm like, oh, now I'll actually get to see yeah. that work. <laughs> well, that's an idea. You know, when I first moved here and I was younger, I would drive back at night, but yeah. now I don't want to. Yeah, but it's a good theater company. I could see, I could see supporting them this year because they'll be closer. Yeah, I, I maybe could turn to a yes, absolutely. Especially, it, again, it's not that much money. So, okay. And it is, yeah. Okay, so we get to a yes then? Okay. Good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. right. Yay. Okay, so uh, sketch your Berkshire neighborhood in pastel. We oh, no, that's a no. The next maybe is Dewey Presents. Yeah, and um, my feeling about that was no, because it's just general support for Dewey Hall. And I, I, I just don't see that particularly, but we've said no to them before. Um, yeah. They don't describe, it's just general support for their, their and mm -hmm. again, Mary, we, there's not a problem that, with general support per se. I just feel annoyed that they don't tell us what kind of programming they're going to do. They're not, re, they're Sheffield. I don't know of anybody who's ever gone to any of their programs. Karina. My, my problem. No. <laughs> um, as, as I understand it in terms of funding, it's not that we cannot fund general, but I thought they said to give preference to new projects to help them get going. So well, that could also be general support, though. So yeah. general support versus project support. It could be. It's, 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 they seem 
they have a huge budget. They seem to fund themselves just fine without us. Yeah, that's kind of like, yeah. Why? So I put no, not compelled to give general support to an organization in Sheffield. How's that? That's good. That's good. Is there anyone going to be writing the no letters? <laughs> Thank you, Andrea. I'm writing the no letters. So uh, uh, anybody wants to make a case for a yes? All right, well, then we're, we're, we're good. All right. All right. Berkshire Pulse Dance Outdoors Festival. Yeah. Yes. There were a bunch of maybes on that one, I think. Yeah, I'm a yes. So I was, I was a yes, yes, but not the full amount. I think there were a few of those. Yeah, yeah, I'm a yes, but not to the full amount. Okay, so who are, are there any no's or maybes unrelated to the amount being asked? Okay. Okay, so we'll, do, we'll put that as yes, not full, and then we'll revisit. Okay. A lot of people are being served by that. Right, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, the okay. next one is Pittsfield Shakespeare in the Park 2021 season. I was a maybe. Um, I like the idea overall, although I don't, and, and I especially like that it's free and that even the rehearsals are free, which I thought was a neat, neat feature. But I feel like we're spending our, our I, I'm concerned about spreading our money out too far. Yeah, that was my, that was, I was a no primarily for the reason that I, and I hate saying this and don't tell anyone I'm saying this because arts organizations never have enough money, right. but I feel like there are enough um, funders in Pittsfield, um, you know, businesses and various things who will support this and that I just wasn't sure that it was that the funds were would uh, that our funds would really make that much of a difference, but that was my that was my reason for saying no to something that I would normally say yes to. That makes me feel a lot better about saying no, frankly. Maybe, you know, um, yeah. 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 Any other thoughts on that one? Can we, can we say no? So I was a maybe, um, but I'm happy to go with no. I don't know. How I was a yes. Yeah. I think it's a great program, but I do think it probably gets support. Okay. Yeah, and I was a maybe, and I'll, I'll, I'll go for no. I think Andrea makes a good argument. I, I'm, I'm in the same, but I don't even know if I was a yes or a maybe. But I, I, if, they, if they're not desperate for our funding, and it is up in Pittsfield, I think we're going to be spread pretty thin as mm -hmm. it is. So it'd be kind of with heartfelt apologies. Yeah, right. yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Well, I'll make a note with heartfelt apologies. Yeah, I'm, I'm putting in our funds are spread thin. Yeah, that's good. Beautiful. The oh, next one is- Oh, Andrea. The next one is <laughs> the, the rites of passage, which is that um, artist um, event that's happening <clears throat> up in Pittsfield. Um, mm -hmm. And I, I had made my notes say it's a very expensive project. Um, I think they have very good ideals. I'm not sure they're going to actually be reaching underserved audiences, especially with the ticket prices. They say they will give away some free and discounted tickets, but will they give out enough? And I, my guess is I, I think yeah. they will have access to a lot of support through other organizations. So I had a maybe for 250, but I could be- well, asking for 2,000? Yeah, 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 I, yeah, I'm not going to give the 2,000, yeah. I, I, I'm something really on the fence on this one. Is this something that they have enough of the funding that it's really going to happen? <laughs> or are we giving 250 and they spend the 250? But well, they're supposed to send us um, information about the project after it's happened. Right. But if it That's doesn't happen, they will do. If it doesn't happen, they don't get the funds. That's oh, right. It has to happen. Yeah. That's the way Mass Council Council works. You have to. Okay. They don't get yeah. the funds up front, so it has right. to happen. Right. So uh, I'm going to argue that we do this, and, and of course not at the full funding because we don't have enough. But um, you know, again, I think it's really important to be to actually not just to be seen as supporting, mm -hmm. but to actually support as much multicultural activity in the Berkshires as we can. Yeah, that was my reason for leaning towards funding it as well. 
Yeah, that multicultural bridge is involved and you know and rope and, is involved. I mean some really group, great yeah, organizations yeah. are involved. Yeah. Yeah. Um I'm gonna propose two fifty. Does that work for people? Yeah, can, that works for me. Yeah. Can can we wait till we see how much money we have? <laughs> yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Okay. So that's a uh, yes, not full. Yeah. Okay. So the next maybe is the Berkshire Ukulele Band and Berkshire Sings. Um, I love that they give out the instruments for free to everybody, but I we give them money every year. I, I'd like to give them less if we do say yes. Was yeah. anybody a no? Did anybody say no on this one? There were three question marks. Okay. But so I don't. I didn't jot down who. Uh, I was a no. You want to make you want it to Why did I say no? I have to go back and look. I think I, I was trying to focus my attention on programs for children. This one didn't say that. So that was my no. <clears throat> there are often a lot of seniors in the ukulele band and there's nothing wrong with that given where we live. Yeah, we're not required to only fund stuff for children. So no, I, I understand that. And if you and if you've ever heard them, you can't you can't not smile and you can't not <laughs> right. I mean, it, it, they're gonna say you can't yeah. unhear them. <laughs> yeah. But you know, they, and sometimes they play at the farmers markets in the summer, and uh, yeah. believe me, the parents park their kids That's in front great. of them and they're yeah. dancing around. Yeah. So. yeah. That's There's another uh, component that we shouldn't overlook, and that is hopefully coming out of the pandemic, people of all ages are hungry to do something in groups, <laughs> which they can certainly do with this. And it's not a <laughs> difficult instrument to learn to play. Yeah. yeah. That's a good point. I, I, do, I do love that they Anybody actually give out, they give out the instruments for free. Yeah, I just think that, that makes it accessible to people. <clears throat> right. And it, and I think at Berkshire set, they often do concerts that, you know, where the proceeds go to charity and things yeah. like that. So yeah. that's nice. So you want them as a, as a yes, but not full, not full amount for right now? Is that what you'd like me to? Actually, I'm kind of feeling like I could go for the full amount at this point. <laughs> yeah, I, I mean. Yeah, if, if we could afford it, I would go for it too. Yeah. So why don't I put them in as a yes? Because we can always, I mean, once we yeah. start. I thought they were one of our four yeses. <laughs> No, they were not. Oh. We had a couple question marks on this. Yeah. Okay. All right. All right. All right. Uh, next uh, let's see. We've already done the nature to libraries, right? In yeah. the other, we did that above. Yeah. Global so, influences look. on American music. It's a project for Muddy Brook Elementary School. Mm -hmm. um, I think there were a lot of maybes. A lot of maybes. So let's talk about the maybes. Wait, I'm sorry. Who is this? So which one is this? Yeah, which, where are we? Um, global, global influences on American oh. music. It's yeah, uh, oh. the music school in Pittsfield yeah. doing work at Money Brook. Mm -hmm. If I may okay. uh, add a couple words here. Um, having been a music teacher for uh, too many years, um, <laughs> I know that this program is a substitute of what for what no longer happens. And that is, uh, you know, in many of the elementary schools uh, in the third and fourth grades, they would begin to learn to play a recorder mm -hmm. and get them ready in subsequent years to branch out and do other instruments and build their music program. So that I think that's what this is doing. It's an attempt to help the school start its music program. Um, I was a maybe, but but I agree with Steve. It's it's a wonderful. I mean, they do wonderful things for kids and and, and adults as well. But and I and I'm sure that financially they're hurting. They're not getting the funding they were getting before. That's a good point. I also know that the the guy who's leading it, Jason Ennis, is an amazing guitarist, and his he and his wife um, perform together and and also part of a trio. Oh, look at the cat. Um, <laughs> <laughs> and. Um, they're just they're just fantastic, and I think he would be a fantastic teacher. Um, so it seems like a, a great opportunity for the kids 
And I hadn't thought about what Steve was saying. <laughs> Cat gets my vote. <laughs> the cat was a yes. He has, yes. He has an Makes it unanimous. So, Anybody? can we give that a yes then? Are we good? I, I'm a yes. I'm a yes. Yes, I'm a yes. Okay. Excellent. Alrighty. Yes. We've got another Dewey. Yeah, this is for the outdoor concert series. Um, no. Yeah, and I had said it's not bad. It's just not to be the best use of our money, and it's not that it's a bad project. Right. But yeah, you know, it doesn't. Again, I don't know anybody who goes down there for concerts. Does anybody know anybody who goes down to Dewey Hall? I know someone that go has gone a couple times, but that's you know. Let's pretend that you don't. Years, I know people who know people. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I know people who live in Sheffield. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I guess. To me, again, it came back to sort of the benefit versus other projects in terms of, of the area. And if, you know, they do their outdoor concerts and it's beautiful if they do their outdoor con concerts, but if they've been doing them for years and they have the funding, we haven't been funding them. So I kind of feel like they'll keep doing them and we're grateful, but there's some things that may not happen if we don't fund them. So that was my logic. All right. Anybody still wanting to say yes or maybe or still so no? All right. We got to know. Okay. Right. Um, the next one is Stockbridge Sinfonia concert series. So, yeah. And I said no because the name is Stockbridge, but nothing else takes place here. Nothing <laughs> happens. <laughs> That's right. Nothing happens in Stockbridge. But I, I guess I felt bad because it, they do perform like all around Stockbridge. Like <laughs> <laughs> they have actually performed at Norman Rockwell on the lawn of Norman Rockwell. They have performed in Stockbridge. But oh. they at least like they uh, they perform it in Lennox and. So that was why I was thinking, well, people from Stockbridge would possibly go, but I'm, I can go either way on this. I've never heard them, so. Right, well, me neither. It's a bunch, it's, it's all different level museum, uh, musicians <laughs> from very good until, you know, been playing an instrument for five, five months. It's, it's really all over the lot. Oh, uh, okay. Is that I have played in it for one year. Is that in favor of them? <laughs> no, I'm a no. That pushed me to no. <laughs> yeah. All right. Anybody else want to say anything in favor of them? Because it looks like we're getting to no. So All right. I think we've got to no. know. All right. Um, the next one is the ice fire. This the um, it seemed like we had some babies on that. That's the sculpture, the ice sculpture show that's taking place at the Mount uh, a, a year from now. Yeah. For three weeks. So, uh, there's two. Isn't this the Stockbridge Library one? No, I think we voted yes on that. Oh, we voted yeah, yes. we voted oh, yes on okay. that. Yeah. All right. So I, I think I was a maybe on that, and mostly because it's taking place in Lenox and not in Stockbridge. Um, you know, I love the Mount, and I go there, and the artist looks fantastic, but that, that was my only reason for hesitation. Likewise, I was I was a question mark, and it's only because I couldn't see the balance to see how much are we doing at the Mount versus other places. If, mm -hmm. I think there are three different projects that are the Mount, which again I love and would love to go to pandemic, notwithstanding. But um, I mean, I could sure I could sure be swayed to a yes. So, yeah, my, well, my I was a yes because I thought it sounded really cool, and yeah. um, I go to the Mount all the time, <laughs> you because know, they do really interesting right. things, you know. And yeah. I feel yeah. really lucky yeah. that it's so close. I mean, Janet and I live in a sort of weird location because we're really kind of close to Lennox, but we're Stockbridge residents, so um, we can walk to the Mount. <laughs> On the cusp. Well, yeah. I, I, I love that it's happening in winter because it just aren't that many things. Yeah. 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 The thing they I don't know if you guys all went to the like, thing that they did in December and January, but I, I thought it was extraordinary. I, I did. Really enjoyed it. it was, yeah. It was yeah. incredible. They're going to do it again next year. It was. It yeah. was. It was quite. Yeah. All right. Um, 
right. So anybody want to say no or? There was a vote of no, but I don't know who it was. No, we weren't voted no, but it was, but any, how about you maybes? Are you feeling a little better about it now or? Uh, yeah, I'm happy to go with it. I, I also walk at the mount in the winter. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so that's a yes. All right. Um, oh, the next one is the- I'm sure. Arts and recovery. Did we vote yes on that? We voted yeah. yes on that. I think just Leon Leonel was the only one who didn't say yes. Oh, okay. So which one is this? Arts and recovery for youth. The suicide one. Right. right. We 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 supported them last year too. Yep. That's right. Yeah. And and we had that conversation. I mean, uh, uh, again, it's it's Pittsfield. Um, no, it isn't though. It's 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 um. It's youth throughout Berkshire County. Yeah, that's where they're based, huh. but kids go there. I, yeah. I did a suicide, I went on the suicide walk that was down in Great Barrington a couple of years ago, and they really support the whole, whole county. Oh, yeah. well, then it's a yes, yeah. then it's a yes. I mean, if- you just got a grant from Berkshire to Connick too, I saw him this morning. So yeah, I mean, suicide is up in teens yeah. because well, COVID is yeah. just, you know, increasing all of their issues, so. And if I'm, the, if I'm the only one, and I understand better now, definitely and absolutely, I, I affirm it's a yes, yeah. Mm -hmm. Great. One, thing I, one thing I'm really happy about with, with her is that this is our third year and I've been noticing that her, I was very suspicious of her work in the, in the first year, but we've been giving more and more support and her numbers are going up. The number of people that she's serving seems yeah. to be going up every year, which really makes me very happy. No. She's been getting, I mean, so in my previous consulting position, which just ended at the end of December, you know, she was um, one of the members of the Berkshire Cultural Assets Network. And because the Mass Cultural <laughs> Council really started going full steam on art and health, uh, Marnie Shore became very involved in what they were doing. And I think she's had the opportunity to get more funding, like Janet saying Berkshire Taconic just funded her. And so she's been able to expand her reach. And she's also tying in more, I think, with a number of different organizations. So, you know, I think for a number of years, she was kind of a lone wolf out there. Um, so. Yeah. Well, I think that's one of the reasons why the Cultural Council guidelines want the commitment from our organizations is that you are most effective. Yeah. Other people are working with you. All right. So the next one we're wondering about is the art close to home. And I said I found it a bit confusing. Uh, the art exhibits seem to be taking place all over, but there's also educational materials going out to all Berkshire schools. The art exhibits are taking place in places that I don't think our community would particularly be go to. But they also say there's educational materials going out. And I said, I'm not sure what our money is going for exactly. Is it supporting the whole project? They've got four to 10 different installations and they have mm -hmm. verbal commitment from others, but nothing seems to be happening in South County as far as I could tell. Mm -hmm. So I had said no, because so I just was very confused by it. Can anyone tell, is there something happening in South County? No, it looks like it's happening up at Boulders, which is on the Dalton Pittsfield border and, uh, and then near Hancock Shaker Village and BCC. Mm -hmm. On the other hand, you know, any of us who walk the NRC trails, you know, work in some of these, I guess I just liked it because, um, because it's art outdoors when a lot of people are not going to museums because they don't want to be inside. So it's a chance for artists to, you know, show their stuff and people to be exposed to it. Okay, any other thoughts? My biggest re reason, excuse me, <coughs> for going no, saying no is it's not really Stockbridge, but I like the idea that it's outside as well. Yeah, mm -hmm. I like that idea. I guess I just, like Karen was, I think it wasn't it as clearly like, written as it should have been. Yeah. Yeah, I went all over the place. What they're going one. to do. Yeah. yeah. No, I get it. Hmm. <coughs> um. So, where are we? Do we still have some no's or maybe's? Um, I was a no. Okay. I think I'd, I'd move to a no. I'd be comfortable moving to a no. I had, I had been a no originally. I was a maybe, but. You know, I kind of love the idea of it being outside and all, but I, I, I'm going to go with a no, I think. Yeah. Okay. I'll, I'll okay. Lionel, um, where are you? 
No, for all the good reasons, yeah. And Ed? Yes, no. Okay. Yes, no? <laughs> yes, no. no, I got it. All right, good. <laughs> Uh, summer concerts in the Chinese Garden, and that's actually the um, uh, Catalina Choir. Catalina, yeah. And um, I said, I like the idea, but they don't have a definite commitment from either Nam Keg or the Mount. I don't know how important, I mean, that may be something to consider. The tickets are very affordable. They're $15, which I like. Um, and she had performed there last year, right? And in both places, they said that they were looking forward to having a return, but it was no firm commitment. Is that right? Right. That's exactly mm -hmm. it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. it's I possible. Yeah. I mean, it's possible that the lack of firm commitment is just museums waiting to hear about COVID rules. Yeah, and stuff. I, it is. It it is. is. My impression. Yeah. yeah. I, I had said yeah. yes. Was there someone who wasn't sure or had a maybe or questions? I had a, I had a maybe. Um, I could be persuaded to go to a yes. I'm not sure for the four, full 400. Yeah. Okay. okay. Any other? But, I mean, I guess it depends upon how much money you have. Mm. Yeah, I think. That's I mean, right. I'm still a yes. I'm yes. I'm a yes. I was a yes. Yeah. Steve. I'm wondering if I should recuse myself, uh, only because. Oh. I know uh, the many most of the singers of the group. I have sung in that group in the past. Okay. And, but, you know, I have mixed emotions about that situation. But so perhaps I should uh, okay. lay out. Yeah. Ed, how are you? I'm, I'm not in favor of this one. China, yeah. But um, anything that we should know as in terms of reason, just, I mean, I, I was a question mark. So, I mean, I'd love to hear negative as well as positive. And, and why, why are you a no? You know, I'm, let me re get back to my, uh, let me get this in front of me and, and look at it once more. Sure. Hold on. And Leonel, you were a no also. So were uh, you? Yes, I'm, I'm a no. I mean, I could be convinced of the contrary, but um, I'm a no still. <laughs> What's your reasoning on the no? Uh, it's again, it's, I mean, it's, it's Lennox and uh, I just checked it out as, you know, if we only have that much money, let's give it to what's- It's more also Stockbridge. It's, it's, Stockbridge. it's also it's Stockbridge, it's an Num keg. A numkeg, yeah, well, okay. I did see that indeed. So that's, that's what could fluctuate me here. I, I could say, I could say yes then, but um, uh, so far just checked it out given the monies, uh, I, I'm not so strong on that one. Not so strong. Okay, Ed, Ed where are you? I, I, I was just rereading. You know, I, I think it fell into my non-child category, um, but you know, I'm, I'm certainly. It certainly sounds like an interesting project, and I could be persuaded if somebody would bring me dinner <laughs> <laughs> or a drink. I just sent my husband like out to get mine. <laughs> so Ed, if I go get a nice dinner and eat it in front of you, does that count? Yeah, yeah, that'll do it. <laughs> so I think we're a yes on this one. Okay. Okay. Yes. All right. We only have one more to then we have to work out the money, but we're we're getting there. So it's called Take the Lead. Um and I said no, and I have my notes say it's a pretty good idea, but they seem well funded and the impact is small. That's what I wrote. They, they seem to do. They seem to be able to do it without our money. So, yeah, I was just a maybe. I was a yes because well, I, I do like, the like to fund the yeah, yeah, and and again, not to beat a dead horse, but I, I don't like to look at where they already have money because everybody right. needs money. Yeah, you <laughs> right. Yeah, right, right. Um, can we put, well, I don't know, how many yeses and how many no's oh, are there? Yeah. One, two. I, I'm a yes. I, I, what oh, you I, was, I, I was a yes because it's, you know, for children, but. Yeah. 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 Me too. Me too. I, I mean, I, I mean, I love the concepts. It's just, for me, it was just not a priority. You know, that. Can we give some money? Some money? Sure. Yeah, I, I, I 
can go along with that. That's fine. <clears throat> yeah. Okay. Maybe we'll, we'll count up the money. I think we had yeah. a couple like that and see. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. All I'm right. Now we can go back and count up the money. And I think Andrea, yeah. hopefully Andrea is keeping Yeah. You. I mean, I, like, I also, also yeah. yeah. I also like the idea that it's mentoring, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Really nice. Yeah. Well, what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to put in the full amount for all the yeses that we haven't said a reduced amount for just to see where that gets us. Mm -hmm. and, then, and then we'll start playing around. So. Thank goodness we have Andrea on the computer. My God, it's great. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> Oh, let's see. So like for something like Tom Trust for rewritten where we say yes, not full, and he's asked for a thousand, should I put in half and see what happens is, you know, and then we can decide. Yeah. The thousand... I was lobbying for 300. Well, let's see what 500. So, yeah, and, and we may very well go to 500, my, I'm to 300. 300. My point is I just don't want to put in the full thousand because I think that will no. throw things. Yeah. So. yeah, put in 500. We will work okay. Out. And then we'll just, yeah. Okay. And I'm going to do the same thing with Berkshire Pulse. So I'm going to put them at 500, even though we may go lower than that, but we're not going to do a thousand. Um, rights of passage, they're asking for 2,000. I know we're not going to give them 1,000. Do you want to give me a like a ballpark? To well, we think there? about 250 or 300 yeah. for them, maybe. Yeah. 50, yeah. We were not giving them a lot. No. Okay. Uh, for people. what this does. Okay. Ooh. So that that's uh six thousand nine hundred. Wow. Oh my god, that's fantastic. So what's our wow. number that we need six, to five, six five six three. Six five six three. So thirty seven, right? Three thirty seven. Yeah. So we need to get rid of three thirty seven? Yeah. Okay, so let's go back to some of these yes, not fulls. So, so Tom, rewritten. We what? could cut Tom by a hundred. That okay, so we cut Tom by a hundred. What okay. do you have in for the ukulele? Do you have the full I, I have them in full at five hundred? And oh. we talked about less possible. We did. Yeah. yeah. How about two fifty for them? Yeah. Is are people in agreement? Two fifty for ukulele. Well, if we just take if we take a hundred off at the various places where we said we weren't doing full, we only yeah. have to do that, you know, four and a half times. So. I was, I would love to go. I mean, I just don't want them kind of slashed in half. Yeah. Right. right. That seems we funded yeah. them. I mean, I'd rather go with four hundred this year and. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right. 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 So I would rather put, put them in at four hundred. Berkshire. Yes. Yeah. 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 I'm and sorry. maybe which one was maybe that? Even sorry. Just, sorry. I wondered which one you was. I, I'm sorry. I didn't. Monty, I think it's Marnie Shaw. Oh, no, right. she was the suicide. Oh, prevention. oh, that's right. Um, Berkshire ukulele is on uh, Berkshire South. Oh, the Berkshire ukulele one we're it, going. It's under the applicant is under Janice Lucy. I, I'm just yeah. wondering what, what's Berkshire. the amount we're giving them. Oh, oh right okay. now we've got it at 400. Okay. And then uh, the other one where we had yes, not full that I brought to, is Berkshire Pulse. So they asked for a thousand and I have them at 500. Do you want to keep them at 500 or put them at 400? I'd like to try to keep them at 500. That's here and they're going to do something at Chesterwood. And, yeah. 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 How about, um, you know. um, how about summer concerts in the Chinese garden? There, there were some back and forth on that. We have them at the mm -hmm. 400 they requested. Mm -hmm. Do you want to take them to 300 or? Mm -hmm. Yeah. 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 Sure. So what have you taken on? So that gives us six thousand six hundred as a total. 
Wow. So what do we we need to can can I just write a check for the for the thirty-seven dollars and we can go home? <laughs> we go have dinner. Karen, Karen, do we have any money left? Do we have like twenty-seven dollars left over from last year or something? We can well, what, what, what we do have is, and I and I this isn't finalized yet, but I potentially set aside um, the, what it, I think it was two fifty for administrative costs, so we could take some of that back. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. so then, uh, so our total could be six thousand six hundred. Yes. yes, we can do that. All right. So let me just review what we're what we're doing here. So. Um, Climate Action, $500. Laurel Hill Day, $500. Berkshire Artist Residency Summer, $250. Oh, you know what we didn't do? Indigenous people. We oh. concerned that this isn't necessarily happening in Stockbridge, but we didn't, um, we didn't give them an amount. Right. What had they asked for? A thousand dollars. Do we want to give them like a hundred dollars as a goodwill gesture, or or two hundred? One hundred. Well, if we do a hundred, we have to find it elsewhere. Right. Yeah, I know. So we just have to wait. So, I mean, I don't mind giving them a hundred, but I think we need to just, you know, we need to find it. We're gonna need. Right. To find well, it. we could again. We could take some of that from the administration. We. I set it aside in case we wanted to do something administrative, okay. but we don't. Yeah. Um, you know, so we could. Um, yeah. If we give them two hundred and then we're six thousand seven hundred total. Yeah. Oh, if we give them a hundred, we're at six thousand seven hundred total. But but we could go to sixty eight hundred if she put away two fifty, and that would so that would be if we give them two hundred. No, that doesn't yeah. quite work because we've already got thirty seven of that of that two fifty that I put away is already. We're, to right. Yes. right. So then you still have the 200 is what I'm saying. Right. Well, I'm not sure you're going to go down to zero while you can. No, I don't want to. I feel Yeah, I think that. maybe as we go through them, let's look at where we can cut. Okay. Okay. Maybe. Okay. So let me let me maybe start again 50s. at the top. I mean, maybe it's not. So climate action 500, Laurel Hill Day 500. And that now that's in both cases, that's what was asked for the 500 and the 500. So if you, you know, you can, we can think about like 450 and 450. And well, let's, that'll, let's keep going. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'm just throwing it out there. Yeah. Um, indigenous people right now, they're at 100. Uh, Berkshire Artist Residency, 250. BTG Plays, 250. Rewritten, 400. Uh, Chester Theater, 250. Fall oh, yeah. Shakespeare, 400. What was that? Uh, Shake, Ch Chester is what, they, that 250 is what they asked for. Yes, that's what they asked for. Um, Shakespeare asked for 400. We're giving them 400. Bringing Nature to You asked for 300. That's what we're giving them. Berkshire Pulse asked for 1,000. We're giving them 500. Rites of Passage asked for 2,000. We're giving them 250. <laughs> Uh, ukulele asked for 500, we're giving them 400. Global Influences asked for 500, we're giving them 500. History of Ice Glen, 500, giving them 500. Um, Ice Fire asked for 600, we're giving them 500. Uh, Arts and Recovery asked for 500, we're giving them 500. Summer Concerts in the Chinese Garden asked for 400, we're giving them 300. And Take the Lead asked for 300, we're giving them 300. I would take some money off the ice fire at the Mount. I mean, they're good fundraisers and- uh, well, We already have, we've taken a hundred off. We they do? Have, we, they yeah, and, and there are a lot that we so tell us. Tell us the total without changing anything. What's it's the total? 6,700 6, right now. 6,700? Yeah. Can and so how, can much, how much can we actually give out? Hold on. Yeah, I'm, I'm, yep, 6,000. Six, like six, we can, uh, we have to pull 137 out of the um, administrative funds. Oh, I think that's okay. 6,700. What about Laurel Hill Day? Could that go down uh, by 100? Yeah. Ooh. No, I don't think so. Okay. I mean, that's our homegrown thing. Okay. 
Yeah, that's fine. Uh, What's the rewritten? It's getting 400. I've forgotten. Wait, so Karen, can you just, the, when you say 137, that's what we can add to what we no, 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 are no. giving. So what is the no, actual no. total? We, no, we can't add it. I'm saying that's what we'll have to take out to, to meet the 6,700. To, to give out 6,700, we'll have to pull 137 out of the- um, Out of the- Yeah. Right. yeah. And let, let me just double check about that 250, okay? Yeah. Yeah. I, I mean, I, I don't mean to beat on poor Tom Trust, but just because he asked for a thousand, it we're, seems we're, like there are a lot of similar projects. We're, we're not, not giving, giving him a thousand. Though. We're giving him 400. Oh, we're giving him 400, but we're giving a lot of other organizations right. 50 and 300. So I think Plus, Mary, you had wanted to give him 300 that uh, originally. Yeah. Right. So is it, well, I was just thinking, just you know, because a lot of the other grants are that size, just because right. he asked for a thousand, he's getting more. Right. No, he's I think it, do are people comfortable with bringing that down to three hundred? Sure. What about that, three fifty? If you if we gave him three fifty, I like okay. that. That's not much to take out of the what yeah. you have set aside. No, but it's some. I mean, mm -hmm. I'd rather take away fifty. So, but I, but I, are you taking it away to put that into the Stockbridge Indian thing? Uh, it would be a transfer of a hundred from one place to another. Well, right now we have a hundred in the Stockbridge Indian. Right, and I, and I mean they asked for. And I have to lose. I just took fifty to out of Tom Trust. So no, we, we take fifty out of him. We're right. still eighty-seven over. No, no, but she said we have the money. We have the money. It's we can use it. It's fine that we're over. It's fine that we're over because we can take it out of the right. money that's set right. aside for administration. Right. right. We can give sixty-seven hundred because she's got the money. So, so, so we, if we took a hundred out of trust, we could put that in so that we give the Stockbridge Indians two hundred. I mean, if you all want to. So, or we take fifty out of him and take fifty out of Pulse or another one. So, yeah. So Not I cool. did, if I give 200 to the Indigenous Peoples Day mm -hmm. and leave Tom Truss at 350, our total is 6,750. Do we need to reduce that by 50? I would like to. And also, okay. as far as the Indigenous Indians go, they didn't ask for a thousand because they asked for a thousand because they don't know yet what they're doing. Yeah. This is right. all the second year. They, they're, they're inexperienced. They didn't understand really how it works. Um, it, it's way, just way too much money. Um, yeah, yeah. And I, don't, yeah okay. I, I don't feel comfortable giving them more than more than a hundred, honestly, because I feel like they're okay. so disorganized. Okay. All right. Then Thanks. we're putting them back. We're putting them back in at a hundred, and so now we're at six thousand. Then we're at fifty. Where are we? We're at six thousand fifty. Because we took the money out of. I brought him down to three fifty. So what are we down to? I'm sorry, say that again. 6,650. Okay. Oh. All right, so I, I would, ugh, just, just, you know, I, I don't want to leave this computer screen to double check and make sure my memory is I've set aside 250, but I would need to check that. So I'm a little bit uncomfortable going uh, another $50 so that would be 187. That would pretty much take all of it. So, so, so are you comfortable, Karen, with 6,650? No, I'm saying I'm, I'm, I'm not. Um, well, you aren't. Okay. okay. No. How, about, how, how, about if, how about if we take 50 out of Berkshire Pulse and give them four? Uh, I wouldn't. Berkshire Pulse, I think, needs the money much more than the ice fire thing does. You know, they really run on a shoestring. Okay. Take ice. Take what about the Green Ages? I mean, the Green Ages, you know, they, we, we give them money here and there. Uh, we, uh, Laurel Hill does, for instance. And there's nothing really, I mean, the, the climate change is the title of the application. Mm -hmm. I still don't understand that it's cultural, even that there's a bit of science involved in the environmental bit. And I, I am, for, uh, you know, funding them with my personal money. But I mean, for what we're talking about here, uh, I don't see the, okay. you know. Well, how about if we take ice, fire, and climate each down by fifty? But why? What? What? Where? Right. I, I, I mean, I, 
I think a lot, uh, Lionel's making an, a, an argument in terms of green agers. Like, so do you want to take them down to 400 to green agers? And then that brings us to 6,550. No, six, 6,600 is fine. Oh, so we just need to get rid of 50? We just need to get rid of 50. Then take oh. green agers to 450. That's, yep. that's sure. Yeah. That works for me. Yeah. Okay. But we don't need, I don't think we need to take more. Let's add it up now and see what it comes out to. Uh, it's 6,600. Yeah. Done. Excellent. Yeah. That, right. I'm, that I'm comfortable with. All right. Great. All right. So Karen, I'm gonna, I'll send this to you. Okay. You're, you're doing the, the rejections and I'm doing the acceptances. Right, and so the way it works is the rejections have to go out first and then we have to wait 15 days before the acceptances go. Okay, so you let me know. I'm gonna to try to get them out no later than the eighth and if I can do them earlier, you know, if I get on a tear, I'm gonna to try to get them out like Friday afternoon because okay. and then, then, we, then we can get into the, the acceptances that much sooner. So the 15 days, by the way, for you guys is, is to allow uh, organizations to protest and to ask for a reconsideration, which they don't do to us. They do, they do uh, via MCC, so we don't have to deal with that. And it's never happened as far as I know, not so far in my time anyway, so. Is, is there, a, well, we can talk about this separately. I'm just, if there's a template or anything I'm supposed to use for the emails. Yeah, there, there is a template and we can, yeah. Yeah, we can talk Are you doing the acceptance letters, Andrea? I am. You can probably go to um, the local town and, and see the letters I wrote last year. But oh, great. Like, okay. Yeah. And Andre, sure. could you send that sheet to all of us? I can do that. No, yeah. Thank you. Love that. Thank you. Sure. Thank you. Good work, you guys. This was yeah, that was great. Yeah, we ended on time too. Congratulations. I would say three minutes to spare. It's <laughs> fantastic. And this is not an easy format because we can't really hear each other when we're It's right. not the same as, yeah. I like it when we're at the town hall with our laptops, but. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Next year. Next year. Yeah. Well, was, you were yeah. a very Thank pleasant you. group to work with. <laughs> yeah, this has been great. Thank I really you. appreciate it. So, yeah, especially because last year, we all, I mean, I don't think there was two or three of them we had to discuss. So this, this was really. Right. Very, I think very well done with such different yeah. things. Yeah. Oh, Andrea, just make quick, uh, let me just check and make sure the uh, second nature arts, the light bright art, did, did, would we decide on that one? No. Hold on, I thought that was a no. Okay. Let me just bring this back up. I just want to make sure my records are yeah. uh, light bright. Yeah, that was, oh, oh, sorry, wrong one. I'm looking at the wrong one. Uh, That's the one that's happening in the school. Yeah, no, I know, I know which one it is. I just, I had closed out because I was going to send everything. Uh, but here I, so I'm going to get right back in. Just take a sec. Okay, light bright isn't it? Was it? Oh, we had had that as a maybe, and we then I think we said no, or yeah. maybe yeah. I think it's, it wasn't high on our list. It wasn't, and we clearly we had it disorganized, and there were questions about how many people were actually being served and you called her and it, yeah, yeah. you weren't yeah. impressed. Yeah, right. yeah. <laughs> and I, I think we, I think we all felt like if we had tons of money, you know, maybe we'd give something, but we're, we clearly distributed the money. So we're done. So, yeah. all right. Yeah. Oh, this all is right. great. Thank, Thank you so much. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you all. Bye, Andrea. Bye-bye. Bye. 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 Good job. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. <laughs>